guys. I found some more cars to play with. Okay, let's dump these out and play. We've got to sort them. It's too much of a mess. Okay. 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 So, um, what could we sort them by? Color. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Quadrilaterals, the quad meaning four, I have five different shapes here. Each of them has a specific name and each of them are quadrilaterals. The first one right here is a parallelogram. And a parallelogram is a quadrilateral because it is has four sides. That's one of the attributes and we're going to talk about more attributes on the other side. The other one I have is a trapezoid. I'm also going to talk about rectangles, rhombus, remember a rhombus looks like square hit by a bus, that's a good way to remember it, and a square. Okay, so all of these are quadrilaterals, but what you may not um, remember, or maybe you do, is that parallelograms um, are also, or rectangles are also parallelograms. A rhombus is also a parallelogram, and so is a square, but a square can also be a rectangle, and it can also be a rhombus. So these are the five shapes that we're going to talk about, and we're going to talk about some of the attributes that they have. So you were given a piece of paper to glue in your I and B on the right-hand side of your I and B, and I am just going to switch it. And we'll talk about it like this. Okay, so on your piece of paper, just glue it on the right-hand side. And one thing I want you to write, just so you remember, is that all quadrilaterals have four sides. And one way to remember is quad means four. So let's write that at the top so we don't forget. All quadrilaterals have four sides. Okay. So let's talk about the first one, a parallelogram. What is so special about a parallelogram? So parallelogram, okay. Only one pair of sides is parallel in a parallelogram. No, that's not true, so I'm gonna leave this one blank. Both pairs of sides are parallel. This is true. So I'm gonna check that off. So one of the attributes of a parallelogram is that both pairs of sides are parallel. Four right angles. No, a parallelogram can look like a rhombus and not have right angles, so that's not true. And four equal sides, and that is also not true because a rectangle um, does not have four equal sides, and that's a parallelogram. So we're just going to say that parallelograms, one of the properties is that they have both pairs of sides are parallel. The next one we're going to talk about is a trapezoid. Okay. Only one pair of sides is parallel. That is true, so please put a check mark there. They only have one side that is parallel. Both pairs of sides are parallel? No, we just said that that was the case. Only one pair of sides are parallel. Um, they don't have right angles, and they don't have equal sides necessarily. Okay. So the only property of the trapezoid that we need to be worried about is that they only one pair of sides is parallel. The next thing that we're going to talk about is a rectangle. And let's see the properties of rectangle. Only one pair of sides is parallel? No. Both pairs are parallel, yes. Do they have four right angles? Yes. And are four equal sides? No, a rectangle doesn't have four equal sides, okay? They can um, be different. That's what categorizes them as a rectangle. Okay, we're gonna talk about the rhombus, okay? 
okay? And a rhombus, only one pair of sides is parallel. That's not true because remember I said, remember it as a square that's been hit by a bus? Now it's all crooked. Both pair of sides are parallel? Yes, that is true. Four right angles? That's not true. Remember it's kind of um, at a sideways. It's kind of sideways. And four equal sides. Yes, it does have four equal sides because it's a square that's been hit by a bus. Okay, and the last thing we're going to talk about is that lovely square. Okay, only one pair of sides are parallel? No, we know that's not true. Both pair of sides are parallel? Yes. Four right angles? Yes. And four equal sides? Yes. Okay, so these are all properties of quadrilaterals. And as you see, all of these things are quadrilaterals, okay? So, in, remember, the quad means that it's four. Okay, so now it's your turn. I want you to answer some true and false questions. The first one is, all rectangles are squares. True or false? The second, and you don't necessarily have to write these questions out. Just answer them so you, when you come in tomorrow, you can show your teacher that you answered them and answer them correctly. Number two, every rhombus is a parallelogram. Is that true or false? And number three, a trapezoid can be a square. True or false? Be prepared to answer these questions when you come to class tomorrow. Thank you. Close your door.